Have you ever imagined? Before a car hits the road, gleaming under a coat of paint with a futuristic design, it actually begins life as a block of clay. In the midst of a digital technology boom, 3D modeling, virtual reality, even AI, why does the automotive industry still rely on clay as a primary medium for car design? Not just for regular cars, but also sports cars, luxury SUVs, and even futuristic concept vehicles. Hold on! If this is your first time hearing about it and you find it fascinating, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Because we've got more surprising insights about the world of automotive design that rarely get covered in depth. Alright, let's keep going. The use of clay in car design isn't new. It began in the US during the 1930s when Harley Earl from General Motors introduced a revolutionary method of car design, building it physically with clay. Not just sketches on paper, but full 3D shapes you could see, touch, and feel the proportions of. And it worked. Because no matter how advanced a computer rendering may be, the human eye and intuition still trust real physical form more. Since then, clay has become a core material in global automotive design. And strangely enough, even with all the technological advancement, it hasn't been replaced. So, why clay? Because clay offers the perfect balance of flexibility and realism. It can be reshaped over and over, yet still provide a highly accurate visual impression. When the skilled hands of clay modelers sculpt a car body, they're not just shaping metal, they're crafting character. Imagine this. Every curve, every subtle line on a car's body, is manually sculpted. In fact, in many cases, only half the car is fully detailed. One side is enough for evaluation, while the other can be mirrored digitally. And here's the fascinating part. That car you see in the showroom or cruising down the road almost certainly went through a phase where it existed as a life-size clay sculpture, weighing up to three tons. Once sculpted, the model can be painted, vinyl wrapped, and lit under studio lights, making it look like the real deal. Also that designers, engineers, and even top-level executives can decide, is this a car worth producing? But it's not just about looks. These clay models are also tested for aerodynamics. They're placed in wind tunnels to analyze airflow and how it affects fuel efficiency and stability. More importantly, they serve as a universal communication tool. Not everyone can interpret technical drawings or CAD models. But a tangible, physical model? That speaks a language everyone, from design to marketing to production, can understand. That's the power of clay. Of course, the process isn't without flaws. It's slow. It's expensive. And it heavily depends on human skill. It's not something you can do with a mouse click. But that's exactly where the magic lies. Car design isn't just about efficiency. It's about emotion, beauty, and soul. And clay is the medium that brings all of that to life before mass production begins. What's even more interesting, the clay used isn't just ordinary dirt. It's a special synthetic clay that doesn't dry out over time. It can be heated, melted down, and reused. Once a model is finished, the clay is recycled, stored, and used again for the next project. 
It's cost-effective, sustainable, and smart. Behind every car that catches your eye today lies a quiet story. Of silent rooms, focused hands, and the warm scent of heated clay. Of dozens of hours spent in calm concentration where the lines of a vehicle are shaped not by algorithms, but by instinct. It's no surprise then that this method is still alive and well. Because while technology can accelerate processes, human touch still creates emotion. And in the end, it's that emotional spark that separates a beautiful car from a car that truly has a soul. Now you know. Car design isn't just about computers and code. It's about clay, craftsmanship, and care. A car isn't born on the production line. It first takes shape from a block of clay sculpted with vision and precision. If you love stories like this and want to uncover more secrets behind automotive design, innovation, and tech, make sure to subscribe because we're just getting started. Thanks for watching till the end.